Hello there, welcome back to the section number two, getting started with Ansible security. In this section, we are going to learn about basic hardening using Ansible and it includes topics like setting up the firewall, managing SE Linux, set up NTP, harden SSH, harden NGINX. Let us jump on the first video of this section, setting up the firewall. In this video, we are going to learn about these listed topics, IP tables, firewall D, UFW, the firewall stack, and the lab exercise. Firewall provide basic security to the server. One of the major feature of the firewall is to block unwanted traffic. There are different types of firewalls supported by the Unix operating system based on the type of Unix family. For example, IP tables. IP table is a rule-based firewall system and it's normally installed in Unix OS which controls the incoming and the outgoing packets. The default structure of IP table looks like IP table, IP table chain, and IP table rules. Rules which control incoming outgoing packets. Firewall D. Firewall D is also known as Dynamic Firewall Manager. Firewall D is the new interface in Red Hat 7, CentOS 7, a Fedora like system. It replaces the IP table interface and connect to the NetFilter kernel code. Firewall D provides a dynamically managed firewall with support for network filter zones to define the trust level of network connections or interfaces. Zones are pre-constructed rule set for the various trust level. UFW UFW or uncomplicated firewall is the front end to IP table. UFW is included in Ubuntu by default. The firewall stack on EL7. Both IP table and firewall D uses IP table tool to talk to the kernel packet filter. With the IP table service, every single change means flushing all the old rules and reading all the new rules from slash etc slash this config IP tables. While with firewall D, there is no creating of all the rules, only the difference are applied. Consequently, firewall D can change the setting during runtime without existing connection being lost. The lab exercise. This is our lab diagram which shows we are going to add a new role firewall in the playbook and going to set up and configure the IP table on Red Hat 6, Firewall D on CentOS 7, and UFW on Ubuntu VM using Ansible module. We will utilize Ansible system module and use Ansible Firewall D system module, IP table system module, and UFW system module from Ansible. Let us quickly visit the source code. Here in this example, firewall YAML playbook file. Run this playbook on all host and become user root, gathering the fact of the host and finally adding firewall role for all host. In the firewall role, the handler section main.yaml file restart logic are defined for UFW and firewall D based on notification. The main.yaml file in the task, which is the mandatory file, has included three different files based on the OS family. The Debian UFW.yaml file will get executed when Ansible run and find that the OS family is Debian. It includes the file install.yaml for the installation of UFW package and perform these tasks which consist of these rules. First, enable the Ansible UFW system module. The default incoming policy is set to deny. Allowing the SSH configuration on port 22. Enable the database Postgres port 5432. Enable the port 443. Enable the UFW logs and notify the handlers to restart the UFW, allowing the management IP address, check the firewall status and register the variable, show the variable status in the Ansible playbook run. The install.yaml file which is installing UFW using apt-get package if the OS family is Debian. The CentOS 7 firewall D YAML file will get executed when the playbook finds the OS family is Red Hat and the major version is 7. The first line include install YAML file which will install firewall D. The next task of the playbook run is to enable the firewall D. The online configurator command is setting up the default zone DMZ and on this DMZ it is allowing HTTP slash HTTPS service, marking it to permanent so that the rule is not going to flush during the system restart. The Red Hat 6 IP table YAML file will get executed by the playbook run when the playbook find the OS family is Red Hat and major version is 6 and performing these IP table modification. First installing the IP table from the include install.yaml file, setting up the established connection rule. 
opening the SSH port 22, allowing the port 80 and port 443 in the IP table chain and dropping all the traffic which doesn't match these rules. Now jump back to the bash shell and execute the playbook using the command ansible playbook firewall.yaml file. When the play is running, it gathers the fact about all three hosts. It skips those hosts which doesn't match the OS family and major version and include the file Debian UFW.yaml which has one DB host. During the playbook run, it dumps the UFW status in the standard out as described in our playbook. We can verify the configuration here. The firewall D's installation is happening on CentOS 7 node and skipping the other two hosts and executing the task as defined in the playbook. The IP table related changes is happening on Red Hat 6 node and skipping the other two hosts. The change on this host indicate that IP table rules are written. On the play recap section, the summary shows the setup went successful. All the nodes are successfully changed. Congratulations! We have successfully completed the video course setting up the firewall using the Ansible system module. In the next video, we are going to learn about managing SE Linux using Ansible.